Hey, what's up? John Sanvez here, and I am walking the Las Ramblas in the evening in Barcelona. Dev Mountain is an industry leading coding boot camp teaching web development, iOS development, and UX design. Dev Mountain provides free housing for all of their full time students. If you're looking to get into the tech industry, this is a great first step. Access www.devmountain.com or click the link in the video description for more info. And I thought I would do a video talking about the best way to learn things quickly. Because uh, I get a lot of questions about basically like how to start a business. I did a whole series on this if you want to if you want to see that. But actually, before you watch that series, uh, I've got something that you might want to do, which is basically to like just dive in and to just go ahead and and do something without really knowing what you're doing. This seems kind of counterintuitive. So let me tell you the way that a lot of people try and learn things. Usually, what they do, and you know, and again. <laughs> People buy stuff, right? They buy books, they buy courses, they buy like, you know, uh, or they go to training and they try to learn something by getting all the information before they start beginning. Anything you can think of that, you know, that you might feel like you're not qualified to do, uh, that, that would fall into this category, right? What they do is they, they try to get all this information ahead of time before they actually take the action and they actually do the thing. But what I'm gonna tell you to do is to do the opposite of that, which is basically to just dive in without knowing what you're doing. I haven't really talked about this on this channel, but I actually used to sell on Amazon. In fact, you know how I figured out how to sell on Amazon? <laughs> it's kind of funny. What I did was I just said, hey, I want to start selling some stuff on Amazon. What I did was I just found uh, a product. I was like, oh, you know, I bought this thing. It was actually called like a light snake, which was this uh, little cord that you hooked up to your guitar, like electric guitar and it would basically allow you to uh, get, uh, to create like an MP3 from it. It was like just just interesting little, little device that I had bought. So I contacted the manufacturer of this product, okay? And they just said, hey, I want to, I want to sell this as a wholesaler. Uh, what kind of price can you give me? I didn't say I've never sold anything before. I didn't say I'm just learning this. And they basically said, well, you know, do you have an address do you, do you have a business license do you have you know and I sent them information I had a little LLC I actually put one together for that purpose okay and then they gave me some distributor pricing they gave me like you know I, I saw that it retailed for like I think it was like $30 and they get, said if you order a hundred of these we'll give you them for 15 so I ordered a hundred of them okay and I started selling them on, on Amazon and I was the only one selling them on Amazon and so I ended up selling them for like $25 each. I wasn't super successful. I was selling like maybe a couple a week and I could have kept doing that and I didn't know what the heck I was doing, right? I didn't have a kind of branding. I didn't know how to, how to do that. I figured out how to ship it. I figured out, called up UPS and said, hey, can I get an account to, you know, a discounted account? And of course I was able to get one, you know, with UPS and FedEx. And I just started selling these light snakes on Amazon. Again, didn't make a huge amount of money, was maybe making like, you know, a hundred bucks a week, but that's all it took, right? If I were going to continue with that, right? If I were gonna continue with that business, would I recommend that I just keep on learning my own way without getting any kind of expertise or advice? No, but here's the thing. When you have to figure shit out on your own, uh, what ends up happening is you gain a huge amount of knowledge really, really quickly. So it's kind of like, you know, if you, if you think about it, right? If you're gonna to learn to play a game, let's say, you just start playing the game, okay? And then you look up the strategy, right? You don't look up all the strategy first because it doesn't make sense. You gotta, you gotta dive in first you gotta start doing something, okay? And then you go back and get the experience and the expertise from the experts and you learn from that. Why am I telling you this? Because when you do it this way, when you basically start something first and then after you've started it, you go ahead and you go and you get the material and you start learning from the experts, what happens is that all that stuff sticks. When you're trying to solve a problem, when you ask yourself, when you ask a question and you find the solution to the question, you remember that, okay? And so that's that's the thing. You'll have momentum. You'll have actually taken action. The hardest thing is to actually take action. I know a lot of people, right? I get emails from, from a lot of you that are like, oh, I've been studying programming for so long, or I've been studying this, I've been reading all these books on business, I've been reading all these books on real estate investment, 
okay, that's another good one, right? And they're like, when am I ready to start? Just go, right? The problem is they, they never go, they never actually take the action, and they, they feel like they're overwhelmed, and so they, they never actually feel like they have enough information, because you're never gonna know it all, you're never gonna figure it out, especially as an entrepreneur, and I can tell you the same thing with real estate. When I started doing real estate investment, you know, I didn't do a lot of research first. I bought a small property, and I just kind of figured it out. And I made a lot of mistakes along the way. And you could say, yeah, John, you would have avoided some of those mistakes if you would have gotten expert advice and did your research and your, your homework first, which is true. But guess what? I learned so much from making my own mistakes and figuring shit out on my own that it's worth it. It's worth that little cost. I'm not against books and tutorials and courses. I sell courses, right? You can buy my courses, but I, I'll, I'll tell you straight up before you buy one of my courses on one of my subjects whether it be marketing yourself or learning quickly or even buying one of my books try it first if you're trying to start out you're trying to do something just do it just do it just dive in it's gonna be uncomfortable uh, but once you do it then you'll be ready to actually start receiving knowledge but it's so hard Just do it first then learn it get the expertise coaching expertise it's all important but you got to get it in the right order which is after you've already attempted it yourself so anyway I hope this helps you and uh, if you have any questions about this leave a comment below I'll try to do a video follow-up to answer it and like I said if you want to check out my courses the 10 steps on anything quickly talks about this uh, you know there's a step in there that basically says uh, to to play okay and that's what it is it's you play around with what stuff as you're doing this stuff as you're experimenting on your own and as you're learning from other people, teach, teach, okay? Start whatever it is, even if you're just making some stupid little tutorials and even if there's already experts out there, you start teaching, you start teaching what you're learning. Don't come from an expert you know, position. Don't say you're the authority on this subject, but say, hey, look, you know, write a blog post, write a video, you know, teach someone else, say, hey, this is what I'm learning because that's gonna reinforce what you're learning and that is, that is gonna help it, it stick in your head. It's gonna reorganize those thoughts in your head. So anyway, that's all I got for you today. Uh, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button below. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.